Warning, RVB Recap contains spoilers for Red vs. Blue Season 14 and earlier seasons. If you haven't watched them yet, go watch them. Like, right now. Hey guys, it's Ron from Fun Necessary. Welcome to our first episode of RVB Recap, where everything old is new again. No, I'm not talking about episode one of season two. I'm talking about the deja vu some fans might have felt after watching episode one of season 14, entitled Room Zero. If you haven't seen it before, Room Zero was originally shown at PAX 2008. It was intended to be a preview for a new Rooster Teeth series called Red vs. Blue Animated. According to the RVB Wikia, the series was a collaboration with the animation studio Humoring the Fates and was supposed to air on television, specifically G4 and Comedy Central. The series never made it to television and was eventually cancelled altogether. Now the animation is returned, but with a new twist. The original clip ended with Church being shot out of the base and in traditional RVB fashion getting hurt behind a black screen. This new episode takes us deeper. We learn that the mission that Church, Griff, and Simmons are on is essentially a simulation run by Church. He's done it before and plans to do it again in hopes to keep Tex in Blood Gulch. As the episode wraps up, it appears all this is taking place inside of an AI storage unit, similarly to Season 9. I wonder if this new deeper ending was a part of the original series, or if it's something tacked on now for Season 14. The ending doesn't seem to reach out specifically to a G4 Comedy Central audience, but does pay strong homage to some old school Red vs. Blue. This episode brings up a lot of questions, some that may never be answered because of the format of Red vs. Blue Season 14. Is this the Epsilon storage unit, and if so, where is it? The last time we see it in fiction, it's in the chairman's office halfway through Red vs. Blue Season 13. Is there a broken piece of the Epsilon AI still out there after the events of Red vs. Blue Season 13, just running these simulations over and over again trying to match up with Tex? It's like super heartbreaking. Really tugging at my heartstrings, Rooster Teeth. As far as the episode as a whole goes, I enjoyed it. At first it was a little jarring seeing something that I knew I had seen before, but once we got to the conclusion and they added that twist, it really gave the animation new meaning and uh, made me more interested for what this season might be about. I would be more concerned about them reusing old animation if I thought that's how the rest of the season was going to be, but we know that's not the case. They turned their old preview into a new interesting story, and one that I think definitely deserved to be told in this way. The episode was capped off with a new version of the preview that we originally saw featuring Vic, but this time instead of just a list of creators that are involved, we saw different previews of the different animation styles and stories that are to be told, which I'm very excited about. Some of the things that were shown might not be something that all fans are looking for, but it's definitely something I'm really excited about. So what do you guys think? Was Room Zero a great way to start off Red vs. Blue Season 14? Or is using something you've already seen not really your cup of tea? Uh, let us know in the comments below. I'll be posting every RVB recap as well as a mini journal on the Rooster Teeth site under the username SP Average Bro. Rooster Teeth, please make it easier to change usernames on your site. You can also follow us on Twitter at It's Fun Necessary. Tweet with the hashtag RVB Recap to let us know your feelings and we might use them in a future episode. Thanks for watching. We'll see you for episode two. Suck it, Blue. We don't know much about what this season's going to be or who's going to be involved with it, but I'm tired of waiting for them to tell me stuff, so I'm gonna crank up the old speculation machine.